Hello, welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Review Show. My name is Hobo Tom. And I'm about to go do some hoboing because, well, I'm almost out of my booze. And I'm here to talk a little bit about NXT's TakeOver, which was super fun. Again, if you ever have a chance to go to any type of NXT event, please do go. I mean, next to New Japan and going to an indie match, really good indie match like Ring of Honor, uh, CZW, as long as okay. and Chikara, NXT is a thing to do. Tonight we had the NXT TakeOver of Chicago. I have some notes a little bit, but first let me get through some things. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, subscribe just like Brian, Brian Cervantes. Brian Cervantes, thank you very much. This clip is for you. So again, thank you very much, Brian Cervantes, for sub for subscribing. Again, if you like, share, and subscribe, you will get something special online. I am. We are now. My girlfriend's not here. She is back at home. She has whole stuff to do. But we have eight subscribers. Only two away from the perfect ten pizza party. So again, thank you very much, Brian Cervantes. Again, you have a little video clip in your honor because you're number eight. We'll see what that is. Again, like, share, subscribe. And if you feel like it, you can always email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Again, a little programming news. Hopefully, I'll be going to the New Japan Pro Wrestling event in about a week. Also, there is Southern Pro Lucha Libre. They should be coming here sometime towards mid July. And I do want to show you a little bit of that. Let's talk about TakeOver. TakeOver was really fun. TakeOver is always good. I don't know why. Just so much better than just the WWE shows. First of all, on the pre show, it starts off with Adam Cole, baby! Making fun of Pat, whoever that is. And then it's just always fun. <laughs> In the background, you're woo woo, too sweet. One thing, though, in Pro Wrestling Gorilla, I remember Adam Cole, baby, having a little bit more of a heel voice. I just called Pat a dork. I said, hey, nice shorts, dork. As Pat's wearing a suit and shorts, because obviously you can't see what's beneath the, beneath the table. You do not want to see what's beneath this table. Yeah, my, my pro wrestling shirt, the machine gun, Carl Anderson. Woohoo! You can get those at pro wrestling tees, pro wrestling tees .com. But enough about the business part. They don't pay me anyway. I have to go out in a hobo about 10 minutes, whatever. In the first match, you have the Undisputed Era with Kyle O'Reilly and Roger Croissant versus one, two of Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch. This is a great opening show. Show. I mean, this was amazing. This earned a... I gave it a surf and turf. This was an excellent tag team match. I mean, it was a good opening showing for Oni and Danny. I mean, they came out really strong, really fast. Gosh, though, those chops, European uppercuts. I know up here there's no, you're not going to get injured. I feel that. That just seems like it hurts. This was a good stiff match. I mean, between the chops, the drop kicks, the clotheslines, the European uppercuts. Ooh. 
I don't want to see any of those guys in a turn my chest freaking purple. I mean, again, only Lord can sell us the best chops ever. I mean, they look, I get hurt. I mean, why can't the, the, those on the main roster really do this? I mean, they try. I mean, they probably wouldn't last 200. I think they have like a 250 day schedule or something. And one of the reasons why I never wanted to become a pro wrestler, not so much the physical aspect, the physical aspect I could take, it's being on the road, finishing up my education. Ah, that's not happening. Again, you're only really one really bad injury away. I think this shoulder I dislocated twice, this one once. Heaven knows what I did to this knee between the ligament, the cartilage. Bone bruise. Yeah. yeah. No, not for me. Well, I do look forward to running the ropes eventually one day. Again, yeah. for my good friends at Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Yes. And more about the match. Again, Adam Cole Bay. Bay Bay. Got tossed. Tried to interfere a little bit. And it was, again, really fun. Eventually, one day. Over this shoulder, I'll put up some posters so you don't see what my office looks like. I mean, it was a good MMA action from Kyle Riley. I mean, Oni and Lorcan, and strong DDTs, clotheslines, chops, European uppercuts. Roderick Strong, the freaking master of every kind of backbreaker there is. It was good. I mean, it was a surf and surf match. But. Undisputed Era. Win. How do they do this? Undisputed Era? Or is it like this? I forget. Something like that, though. Cannot show gang signs on YouTube. Again, this led to the second match. The Velveteen Dream. Boo. One reason I boo you, Velveteen Dream, is that you winked at my girlfriend. Still gonna bite your nose off for that. Versus King Ricochet. Because I did put up my Lucha Underground post. Please feel free to watch that. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Say it's great. It's lousy. You really are a hobo. Get back to work. Your real job. Yeah, this was a great match. I mean, the dream came out in <laughs> Hulkster colors. Did the whole Hulkster thing. Woo! I mean, that was, that was fun. I mean, there's a bandana toss. This was a play mignon match. Oh, there goes my notes. But again, this was just amazing. The, the rope running from both of them. The slide, just the action involved, very fast pace. I mean, for this, this was amazing. I mean, it was a really split crowd. You can hear him go, Velveteen Dream, Ricochet, Velveteen Dream, Ricochet. Amazing. I mean, these two, these can't put on a bad match. I mean, I, don't, I think if I, I was involved in a three way match, if my cat was involved with a three way match, It'd still be a freaking surf and turf match or a five, four and a half star match. It'd be amazing. So many false finishes, so many attempted finishes. Kept you on the edge of the seat. Great posse of a moonsault. I mean, this is this was just really amazing stuff. The refs in NXT, yeah, I need a little bit of training. They're good. Again, geez, this was amazing, though. King Ricochet won, or Ricochet won. Not to get any gimmick infringement involved. Ricochet won. Surf, this was the Filet Mignon. This is the country, New York City Country Club Filet Mignon. That's, that was just amazing, though. 
And I say I was surprised. The Chicago crowd was pretty good. Normally they're a pretty hot crowd. I mean, I think I tried to listen to some of their chants. I could hear some of their chants. I was surprised I didn't hear any CM Punk chants, which which those dirty people are known for. Only people worse than Chicago fans, dirty, drunk Philly fans. I hate you, Philly fans. Boo. Philly fans. Next up, we have the women's title, Shayna Baszler versus Nikki Cross. <laughs> Nikki Cross is just nuts. She's insane. She's squirrel, squirrel girl who ate coffee grinds. And Baszler just, to her credit, as her personality goes, just looked confused with all of Nikki Cross's antics. I mean, she just bounces off the ropes, bounces off people, bounces off objects. Nikki no sold her for a couple of good spots in the matches. And again, Baser just looked confused. It's like, why, why aren't you selling? What, 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 do I do? what do I have to do? And Nikki Cross... Again, the chance Nikki's going to kill you. I mean, Nikki Cross passes out, smiling. So I mean, that was pretty good. It was, it was okay. It was, it was good. It is what it was. I mean, it was fun, but just kind of weird. Again, it didn't look crisp. That means. It's a cheeseburger man. Again, it was really fun, though. It was good. If this was the low point of the NXT TakeOver, I could live with that. If this was the low point of a main roster match, or main roster pay-per-view, or WrestleMania, or Money in the Bank, I could live with that. Again, just in the overall, in the whole context, it was a cheeseburger match. It was okay. Then we have Lars, and again, with that, uh, Shane and Baszler won. She retains her title. She choked out Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross never gave up, though. She passed out with a smile on her face. Again, it was a cheeseburger match. Then you have Lars Sullivan versus Aleister Black as the fourth match for the NXT Championship. This, again, was a really fun match. And by itself, it would have been awesome. I think the rest of this card was so darn good. It only got... I only give it... Cheeseburger. Everyone says just why a cheeseburger? One, you cannot screw up a cheeseburger. Even if it moves off the screen. And it was just fun. It was, it was good. I think this was the shortest match of the night. That's probably why I got it. And then... Again, after seeing the Velveteen Dream and King Ricochet go after it, each other, and then you have the tag team match, you're like, uh, what can they do? Yeah, this was just really just the monster versus your average guy match. Black, Oscar Black, for the most part, first part of the match got kind of beat up a lot. Again, just stiff shots by Lars Sullivan. And there were some top rope spots by Black trying to take advantage of his size and quickness. And say, hey, if I can't take you out by hitting you in the face, I'm going to go up and get some more momentum. Smart. It's tactical wrestling. It was good. I enjoyed it. I understood this. You could understand this. My girlfriend could understand this. And my cat, wherever she is, could understand this. If I can't if I can't hurt you by punching you in the face or kicking you, I'm going to use every other means that I can legally in a wrestling match to beat you. And he tried. It was good. Again, there were submissions by Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan tried to impose his will, which is what he should do as a big guy, and just try and break Alistair Black. It worked. Again, I understood it. 
My girlfriend would understand it. My cat would understand it. Very simple, very basic. It works. It's effective. It's fun. And you don't have to be a brain surgeon or a doctor of education to understand this. It was good. And that's why NXT is so good. They do things that work. They do things people understand. And it just makes sense. Um, Lars Sullivan did do a top rope headbutt. Again, that big guy trying to finish off a guy. Nothing. He's not trying to do flips. He's not trying to do anything fancy. He says, I'm going to hit you the hardest way I freaking can. One of the hardest parts of my body. And I'm going to try and beat you. Simple. Effective. Good. Alistair Black did win after a couple of false finishes. Um, I believe the Black Mask was caught twice. The third time did not work. Alistair Black retains. Again, good, fun match. I think this was the shortest match. And when you take it in the whole context, again, it's a cheeseburger match. Like, how could they really screw this up? And they didn't. It was good. It was fun. It, it is what it was. You kind of you kind of knew going that Lars Sullivan wasn't going to take the title away yet. But it was good, entertaining, fun, and it made sense. Again, you could come off the street. I could take another bum off the street after I beat him up a little bit, bite his nose off, give him a choke, and say, "Watch this darn wrestling match," and he would understand what's going on. I could have my girlfriend here with her niece, her nephew. Her family, and her family does not uh, wrestle, uh, wrestling. Anyway, but they would understand what, why was what's going on. That was good. And then you had the last match, which again, <laughs> the flaming yawn match. Oh, oh, this was oh this this was getting the flaming yawn at some Moroccan casino. This was good. I want to see what Mister. Meltzer says about this match because the other match was a Flay Mignon match. This is like the Flay of Flay Mignon. This is double Flay Mignon match. Is that possible? Hmm. Actually, I'll just keep it a Flay Mignon, regular Flay Mignon. I think my one prediction is that Candice already would have gotten involved somehow. She didn't. I think that's the only thing that could really could have enhanced this match was if Candice got involved. I mean, Johnny Wrestling... It's nuts. I mean, he goes face first into the concrete. I mean, great spots, great bumps. All these bumps these wrestlers took are amazing. But again, they only have to wrestle every so often. They don't have the 250 some odd day schedule. It, it was a street fight, so I was okay with things. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll bump it back down just a little bit. Just a regular Flaming Mignon match. I mean, the big story in this match, it was almost like a New Japan match where they're going to see who can break whose neck first. I mean, how much abuse can you take on your neck? It's like, you know what? I can take that much abuse. I want to give you more. I mean, Gargano did try some kind of heel tactics, but things you understand. Again, my girlfriend was saying, well, it's a street fight. There's there's no rules. It's like, that's why I took the belt off and started to whoop them with it. And that makes sense. Again, amazing. Boom. Wrestling makes sense. Wrestling makes sense to average people. More people will watch. That's why NXT does so good. And it was just fun. I mean, you have the exposing of the boards. It's like, it's like there's padding underneath that. It's like, that doesn't seem safe to do to rip up all the padding. It's like, no, that's, that's wood. Wood's hard. Ouch. Again, flashbacks to the heel turn. Tommaso Ciampa did win, which is good. It kind of sets up for that third rubber match. Probably at SummerSlam. And again, it was just amazing. This was good. The only thing the only thing it missed, I think, really was the fact that Candice LeRae didn't show up. I mean, there were spots where Tommaso ripped off the Redding Wing and or, or or whatever kind of band. I know wrestlers wear either like a rubber piece or they put a piece of tape around where their wedding, wedding band should be. I mean, 
you don't want to wrestle with a running wedding ring. That's not good because it gets stuck there and something happens to that finger, it puffs up, and then they just choppy choppy. Not good. So a lot of wrestlers do wear like a rubber piece, or a lot of them have it tattooed on too. So it's, so it's kind of permanent. And again, that saves a finger. Saving fingers is good. But again, it was a fun match. Champa won. Again, it sets up for probably SummerSlam. And by SummerSlam, I'll be off my naughty list, the YouTube naughty list. Live stream time. Yes! Again, thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to leave a comment about this. Again, if you disagree with any of my analysis, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Even if you dislike, I would take a dislike by now. Again, please comment, like, subscribe. And if you do really have a strong opinion, either way, it was really great. I don't know what you're talking about, you stupid obo. Or this this is complete nonsense. And Gmail at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Again, one last shout out, Brian Cervantes. Thank you very much for your subscription. Look forward to content at least once a week. Sometimes more. It all depends what I can do during my busy hoboing schedule. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good Friday night and you, oh Saturday night. I'm all goofed up. And look forward to hearing from you again Sunday when we have the WWE Money in the Bank. Have a good night, everyone. Last week for everyone. Maybe water though. I need to refresh this. Bye.